So in this problem, we're told that a constant friction force of 25 newtons acts on a 65 kilogram skier for 15 seconds. What is the skier's change in velocity? So in this problem, we're going to be solving for the change in velocity. And what we have is this skier going, uh, basically just imagine to the right. And we know there's going to be a friction force acting against them and slowing them down, which acts the opposite way of motion. So 25 newtons acting this way, if they're going to be going this way. Uh, we also know their mass is 65 kilograms. So let's go ahead and start solving. So the way we're going to use it is by plugging a bunch of formulas together and then using that to solve. So first formula we're going to use is the formula for momentum, which is P momentum equals mass times velocity. The other formula we're going to use is force equals the change in momentum over the change in time. So what we're trying to solve for is uh, change in velocity. So the change in momentum is equal to mass because it's a constant and then you multiply it by the change in velocity because that's what actually changes the momentum. So change in momentum equals mass times change in velocity. So the force in this case is equal to mass times change in velocity over change in time. So this right here equals the force. And so keep in mind though, uh, we know all these values. So we're solving for the change in velocity. We have the mass, which is 65 kg. We have the change in time, which they tell us uh, is 15 seconds. I didn't write that down, my bad. But essentially they're gonna be traveling for 15 seconds. So we know how long it's gonna go for. And then we also know the force is gonna be 25 Newtons. Uh, but keep in mind when we write the force, we wanna write it as minus 25 because it's going in the opposite direction. So minus 25 equals uh, M, which is the mass, which we know is 65 kilograms, times the change in velocity divided by uh, the change in time, which is 15 seconds. So solving this, you would multiply both sides by 15. Uh, when you do that, you'll get, let me plug it in, 15 times uh, minus 25, which is minus 375, is equal to 65 times the change in velocity. And keep in mind, the change in velocity is all uh, obviously negative because uh, the force of friction is slowing us down. So our velocity is uh, going to decrease. So that's why we use the negative sign there. So minus 375 divided by 65. So you'll get change in velocity equals minus 5.769. So you can basically round it to minus 5.77. Uh, the units of velocity are going to be meters per second. So the change in velocity for this problem is going to be minus uh, 5.77 meters per second. So uh, yeah, so that's the skier's change in velocity. And yeah, so all we did was basically just substitute uh, these two formulas. Uh, they're really important to know, so make sure you memorize them. But yeah, so th this is going to be your answer, and hopefully you found this useful.